So we decided that we won't just climb the Ella Rock here in Ella on Sri Lanka, but we will sleep on the top of Ella Rock. And uh, of course, Sri Lanka is close to the equator, but here in the mountains, it is the weather is not that warm. And so basically we decided to not stall, but to borrow the blanket from our hostel for a night while we will be sleeping on the top of El Rock because uh, it is freezing cold out there at the evening. Another thing is that we don't have a tent, so we won't just sleep outside on El Rock, but we will do it without a tent. And um, it is monsoon season and every day there's a huge rain and we also forgot our umbrella at our hostel that we bought exactly for this purpose. So we will see and uh, we, we are really hoping that uh, even though it is monsoon season there won't be a huge rain that will just wash away all of our stuff and and us. And uh, now we are heading to have our third breakfast because we had that one at the hostel and then we ate real chicken with chips but it wasn't enough so now we will be eating some fried rice I guess. <laughs>
will tell you what kind of tricky situation we got ourselves into. So, first, we started to work on the rail, and um, we figured we figured out that we are going in the wrong direction. So then we turned around and we started to go on the right direction and uh, we were so excited to climb the other rock and then some uh, random dude um, asked us where we are going so we told him we are going to the other rock and uh, he told us that man that is in the opposite direction so we thought okay he must know what is the right um, direction to the other rock because uh, he's a local so we turned around again and um, that dude just um, walked behind us and um, so we didn't think that uh, he wants something from us or he's some uh, you know some so-called guide or uh, he wants to scam us or something we just walked and um, you know just we thought that yeah now we are on the right direction finally to the other rock and then it 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 became a bit um, suspicious because um, he told us that um, we should um, take this path to the other rock and uh, so we left the rail and we headed into the jungle and the interesting was that he followed us in that same path and um, he always helped and um, um, showed us the directions and stuff and it at that point it was very very suspicious and I I just I, I couldn't handle the tension because we wanted to be alone and we wanted to do whatever you want and it was so annoying that he he was uh, just following us and guided us uh, I don't know and so I asked him where are you going <laughs> and um, he told us that um, he is going to his village so I thought oh okay so the village is in the same direction because there are villages on the way and stuff so it was it was normal and it became a bit suspicious uh, again when when we started to climb to the Ella Rock and suddenly he was leading the way and showing us stuff on the trees and he was acting like a guide and so at that point we were really really annoyed because we didn't want him to come with us and so <laughs> then I started to ask him over and over again where he is going and I told him that we don't want a guide and uh, he pretended that he doesn't understand what I am talking about and uh, it's just you know um, climb to the other rock and then we decided that we stop we just sat on a rock and um, and just wait until he finally goes away he didn't and uh, he he sat down too and he, he just waited for us. It was At that point it was very obvious that he is a guide, a uh, unofficial guide who told that yeah these tourists doesn't even know where they are going and um, so I will just guide them uh, to the El Arroco on a completely different crazy route and um, you know I will ask uh, for big money. So <laughs> then we were just thinking what should we do now because uh, we climbed a bit on the, on the mountain and so it was it was a very weird situation because me and my girlfriend and this this dude we were just hanging around in the woods and we <laughs> just wanted to go away so we <laughs> we told him that we don't want to go to the El Rock. so he asked us why 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 don't you want to go to the El Rock? And we just we just started to go in the opposite direction, uh, out of that 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 whole area, and he followed us. <laughs> it was it was very it was crazy, and um, he just um, he just uh, asked us 
again and again, why don't we want to go to the LRO? And um, then we finally arrived to the rail where we started our journey and we finally just uh, left that dude behind and we heard from the distance that he asked from another tourist where are you going to the LRO? So we thought, oh man, this is a local guide who, who thinks that um, he can mislead tourists. So then we finally found the real way to the Ella Rock. And uh, of course before that we had a really great uh, lunch because we are really hungry and stressed out because of this whole situation that we didn't want at all. And then we um, finally found the right path and it was very easy to go to the Ella Rock actually. And uh, so, um, yeah, we, didn't, we, we don't like these situations, uh, but after that, no one wanted to guide us anywhere, so after that it was a great journey. <laughs>
finally we arrived to the top of Ella Rock. We are really really tired and uh, a little bit hungry and um, the rain is coming soon and luckily we found this little wooden house so we can hide from the rain because now it is monsoon season and uh, rain is every day approximately at the same hours so we know it uh, before it happens luckily and uh, now we will spend the entire night here on the top of Ella Rock and we will be watching the beautiful sunrise in the morning So now, stay what? So we just um, came into the house, into this small wooden house on the top of El Rock because of the huge rain and because of the wild leopards and all the other animals that uh, are living on Sri Lanka and now we hope that nobody is going to come here nobody is going to come here during the night and we can sleep very well here can imagine we couldn't sleep much. The story started with the dog because um, the whole night was actually started uh, pretty good. We were just uh, we, we had good conversations and the whole area was very beautiful and we were so happy that we found some shelter from the rain and so then we saw that, oh, here's the dog, and uh, he's just laying around here, and um, we thought that when something we might... It got dark very quick and uh, a huge fog came to the area and we couldn't see anything and uh, we had uh, torches um, flashlights but those were two flashlights that cost less than one dollar so these weren't the high-end <laughs> torches that we wanted but um, or we, we needed <laughs> so we had these uh, very um, co poor quality um, torches but um, we, we saw a dog just laying around and so we thought oh uh, we don't really need these um, flashlights anyway because here's the dog and um, it will bark or hold when something uh, bad uh, will happen and stuff so we can prepare ourselves for the fight 
uh, or rather the dog will fight. So um, the problem was that um, then there was this huge fog and uh, shadows of uh, animals and stuff because of course there are a lot of monkeys and other animals and um, out there and then I just started to read up what kind of animals are living on Sri Lanka and uh, so I found out that there are wild leopards on Sri Lanka of course not many but uh, you know when you are um, in the jungle and uh, you can't hide anywhere. If uh, one leopard wants to eat you, it will. So um, then I started to uh, read about if they are afraid of humans or not, and it turned out that they are an exception, and they are not really afraid of humans, and they will eat you. And just just uh, as the article uh, stated, as a midnight snack. It was great to read at that point when there is a huge foggy um, uh, forest, uh, 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 surrounding you and uh, this uh, so so it was after that it was a mess and um, we found out that we can open one of the doors of that wooden house and uh, because the dog was just started holding and barking and it was really scary and all, all these shadows of animals and we 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 told at that moment that yeah, yeah, one leopard will, uh, will definitely eat us. So we got into the house and, um, and we, f we figured out that it is, it is a house that uh, is, is commonly used by people because there were flip flops there and there were like tea and stuff um, that hasn't expired yet. And, uh, and and then we started to hear like car noises and uh, and and human noises. So we thought, oh, so now we we have a choice that whether we want to be killed by wild animals or humans who own this or own the place. So after that, we just uh, um, closed the door and we wanted to sleep. But it was it was not the best uh, sleep of our lives. Um, even though we slept in crazy places before, but um, the wild animals were a a field that we haven't experienced yet in our adventurous journeys. So we wanted to sleep, but uh, over and over again we heard some noises and the dog was started to haul in a crazy way um, and so it was one of the worst um, sleeping experiences of our lives but in my opinion worth it because uh, you can imagine that after a night like this it, it cold, cruel, lawless um, night like this how much uh, more we could appreciate the 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 light that um, came from above at the morning and the 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 warm sun that melted our hearts and we we got in connection with nature and um, with our spiritual sense and we were thinking about just how beautiful life is and how how we appreciate every um, sunshine.